Hi everybody, it's Gretchen. Um, you know, the other day I was walking through the bookstore looking for something and I saw there was a table of recommended summer reading. And most of it was really like the classics and stuff like that. I think that all the classics are fantastic and, you know, having a background in English Lit myself, um, I know that those books are what gave me the foundation to appreciate what I read today. So I think when you think about your summer reading list, you shouldn't just rely on the classics and you shouldn't just rely on contemporary stuff. I think you should shake it up a little bit. So here's what I'm saying. I'm encouraging people to do a mashup, okay? If you watch Glee, every week they do like mashups of songs where you know, put these songs together and, or there's a theme of some kind. And I think that there should be a mashup of the old and new for books and movies and music and all of it. You know, in a time when there was a different morality and a, a different integrity, a different work ethic, a different everything, you know, down to the way that they dressed or whatever. I think that that mashup can be kind of a powerful experience so that you don't just kind of stay in today and stay in the contemporary stuff, but you can build a foundation with the older stuff. Like, you know, go read, go read Huckleberry Finn and Catcher in the Rye and, and books about coming of age for, for teenage boys. And then go read something like An Abundance of Catherines or Looking for Alaska by John Green. You know, go, go read Dracula and then read Twilight. Well, I'm just, that's all I'm going to say about that. Go see, go, go read or, or see the movie Handmaid's Tale and then go read or see the movie A Bridget Jones Diary. I know, they're not the same, but you think about them in the, together and, and you think about, you know, Handmaid's Tale, which was something about, was about futuristic um, treatment of women and their bodies and, you know, you see something like Bridget Jones Diary, which, you know, it's just, a, it's a different set of rules and it's it's a different spin on um, women and and that whole chiclet um, genre you know in, in the context of Margaret Atwood's Handmaid's Tale I think that's fascinating go, go watch probably my one of my favorite movies of all time Rear Window it's an Alfred Hitchcock movie and then go see something like Blair Witch because that's, you know, Alfred Hitchcock, that's what that kind of stuff was built on. Alfred Hitchcock was so much about the suspense and like, oh my God, what's going to happen? And it wasn't about the blood and the gore. And, and I don't think Blair Witch was either because, it, again, it built that suspense. But uh, but you got to see some of that old stuff. Go go see Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Go rent it. Go to Netflix. Go wherever you go and watch Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the original I think it's from the 30s and then go see anything that you think is scary today because it'll blow it away read the color purple and then go read memoirs of a geisha go read or go listen to billy holiday who just oozed pain and passion and um sorrow and drugs and alcohol and just pure talent and go listen to something like macy gray at least her older stuff um, which was just raw talent too, but built on the backs of the singers from a whole nother generation. Read Heart of Darkness and then read The Things They Carried, which The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien is probably my favorite book of all time. And it's about soldiers in Vietnam. Heart of Darkness, holy cow, um, Conrad. It is, it is dark and it is um, dismal and it is scary and it is fascinating and it built something in my brain you know it's like I already had the the Vietnam jungle in my brain and the and the, the atrocities of that whole era and when I read the things they carried it added a whole nother just level of I just want to say juiciness it just made it so much juicier and filled it with so much more than I would have ever been able to have have appreciated without that other reference. Go listen to Madonna. Put on your little mesh no fingered glove like I used to have in the headband. Mole. And then go listen to Lady Gaga. Her, what she does is built on a lot of the pop stuff from the 80s. Madonna in her early days, she was edgy and she made people nervous and she wore things that no one had wore, worn before. And she sang in a way that, that, yeah, it had that pop vibe, but it was like, what am I hearing? Just, so pick something this summer, you know, pick two things. And it could be from my list, which will be below, 
or maybe post in the comments way down there um maybe two that you would recommend go go find this book and then then read this contemporary uh version or this contemporary take on on that kind of thought process and and that kind of um, drama or passion or comedy or sound or whatever it is and give yourself a new frame of reference and give yourself some depth and give yourself some knowledge and even if you hate the foundation or you hate the contemporary version you know it just adds like new pockets in your brain of information that you can use uh, to inspire you or to maybe direct you in a way that you never thought you would go before to, to see a certain movie or to read a certain book. So there you go. Musical mashup, literary mashup, cinematic mashup, I don't care what it is. But challenge yourself and have fun with it. And I will see you soon.